what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It dot com, Ash Said It dot com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys so very much. Over 1,500 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. I appreciate so much of that love, all that support. It makes a huge, huge difference. And very seldom do I get a legend, a living legend on my show. And I am just cheesing and smiling ear to ear because today I have the pleasure, the honor to speak with Tony and two-time Grammy Award winning talent herself, the incomparable, the legendary Miss Jennifer Holiday. Hello. <laughs> Hello, hello. I'm so happy to be with you oh. and your your listening audience. Yes, wow. So I, I just want to say thank you so much. I know that you've got a, a full press schedule. You know, you got the big monumental birthday celebration happening next week. So we're totally excited about that. But um, Yes, I'm going to be 60 years yes, old on Monday, right. October 19th. So... It's quite a milestone. It is. It's a huge, huge milestone, you know, and recognizing a lot of people that didn't get to reach 60. So, hey, that's a blessing within yeah. itself. Yeah. So we are thankful it for that. It is a blessing. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Miss Holiday, all right. So starting things off, so what would you say right now has been the biggest lesson that you've learned in your 60 years of life? Well, I would say... um my 60 years of life and 43 years in show business as an entertainer. Um, I would say one of the, the hardest thing I had to do was learn to love myself and that I was worthy and had purpose regardless of whether I was a singer or not. Mm. So I think that that was one of the hardest, hardest things that, that my purpose on, on earth was not, just to be a, a singer because God forbid if something happened to my voice yeah. or something like that, that not only would I have purpose that, but that people would still love me, mm. that I would still be deemed worthy of love if I did not sing. Gotcha, so gotcha. I think that that was one of the hardest things for me to learn that I didn't learn till I was actually a, a closer to 50 years yeah. old. Gotcha, gotcha. What would you say yeah. was your your moment of confirmation? Like that moment that it may have been a moment, it may have been an instant, it may have been a couple of instances when you realize, you know what? Wow, this is really my gift. When singing was my gift, right? Um. Well, um, I think that I'm what they call a, a reluctant star. Uh, I didn't want when I was um, when I was young. I wasn't trying to become a a, a singer. I, mm-hmm. I actually wanted to be a, a congressperson. Mm-hmm. I grew up in Houston, Texas, and there was this amazing woman named Congresswoman Barbara Jordan who I idolized, and I wanted to be like her because she was making a difference um, not only as a congressperson but also just in our community, and I, I just admired her so. And um, so my very first Broadway play was called Your Arms Too Short to Box of God. Mm-hmm. And then while I was working on that, that I did Dream Girls. So believe it or not, it wasn't until I I, I became a star in Dream Girls <laughs> that I was like, oh, okay, I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> And for those of you that out there that weren't watching or weren't really paying attention, um, Miss Jennifer Holiday, she did an outstanding performance at the home going for Representative John Lewis here in Atlanta. And you were amazing. You you were outstanding. You. Um, it's just it was so heartfelt. Um how do you how Thank do you do well, he was a he was a dear friend he was a dear friend of mine he yes. and, and his wife and his beloved life absolutely so how were you able to just muster and it's like you turn it on and you turn it off and it's like like you said he was a dear friend of yours how were you able to perform 
um, in that moment for him, for his memory? Well, I kept thinking about how he had gone through so much for all of us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, it's the least that it's the least that I could do. You know, he would have been there for me. Like I said, he was a dear friend of mine, so I also had sung for his beloved wife's funeral when right. she had died eight years ago. And so I felt a responsibility to deliver him to his wife, mm. you know, that he would take his place, final rest in place beside her, and that they would, you know, in heaven, finally in heaven together. So I felt all of those things mm. while I was while I was singing, you know, and then just to thank him for, for all of us, for the contribution and the sacrifice that he's made on all of our behalf to make all our lives better. Yes. And so we'll talk about this monumental birthday you got coming up next week with this amazing virtual concert performance. Tell us, how did this particular project come about? Why, why celebrate with a concert? Well... Um, you know, as we're saying, 60 years old, that's quite a, a milestone. And, and as you said, too, that so many people didn't make it to be 60. So many people didn't even, you know, make it to be 30, you know, yeah. during this pandemic and other times. And I don't know, um, for the entertainment industry, especially those of us who are singers, musicians, and Broadway people, we're all out of work. Yeah. And we're all, because we need an audience. To, mm. um, to do our job and to earn our livelihoods. And so I was kind of kind of beginning to sink into a depression, I'll just be honest with you, yeah. and feeling a sense of hopelessness about how what are we going to do and, and how am I going to work. And I started not to celebrate at all. And then I just got kind of defiant, and I said, no, Jennifer, Mm -hmm. uh, because I kind of felt like you said, a lot of people didn't make it to 60. Yeah. So there's some reason that you are still alive here. Mm. And so, you know, stand up and be strong and, and, and do something to to celebrate and to to fight for for yourself to, to go forward. Yeah. And so that's how I said, I'm going to do I'm going to do a concert. So I feel that the concert not only represents my own sense of survival but I will be representing you know every other musician and singer and artist and Broadway artist who who are out of work right now so I'll yes. just be singing for for all of us standing for all of us and and praying that you know that God will turn all of this around uh pretty soon and and that we'll all be able to to go back to work again yes Absolutely. I mean, you're going to be joined by a six-piece band. Um, you're going to be sharing a string of your hits from the 80s and the 90s and also some 60s classics. So that's going to be, I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward Thank to seeing you. it. Thank you. It might be a little old school for you. But, oh, no. Yeah, oh. So I am going gonna, gonna to do a tribute, you know, a tribute to Etta James and a tribute yes. to Aretha Franklin and... Yeah. And I'm also going to have uh, some uh, celebrity guest birthday shout outs. And uh, this is also part a uh, partial um, portion of the proceeds is going to benefit uh, the Healthy Housing Foundation, mm -hmm. which is a subsidiary of the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Um, and so this organization I have worked with many years so I'm I'm so proud to be partnered with them uh on this because I'm always you know wanting to give back uh I'm a Libra lady so we're always giving <laughs> Libras yeah. and um you know so this was a a perfect way to do this uh they provide uh affordable housing uh to families uh mostly in the Los Angeles and South Florida area and so far um they've only been um operating two years and they've already provided about a thousand individuals with with homes so it was a good match and um you know from the aids Healthcare foundation and the black leadership aids crisis coalition mm, i love it i love it and how can people tune into the show 
How can people tune into the concert? Yes, yes. So, so first you have to purchase a ticket. All right. So you go to <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you go to you go to www.stellartickets.com. S T E L L A R tickets.com. The tickets are twenty dollars. Um, but there's also a $60 VIP ticket for a virtual meet and greet, okay. uh, which would be, um, you know, a Zoom, Zoom call um, uh, with dates later for people to choose from. Gotcha. And um, they download the Stellar app, and that's how they are able to view the show. All right. I am loving that. Yes, last but certainly not least, the last question I have for you today, Miss Jennifer, is... What went through your mind when you initially got Dream Girls and you got and I'm telling you when they when they gave you the the music sheet and they said, "Look, this is the song. Run with it." <laughs> well, um the difference I uh about me with Dream Girls as well as the other original Dream Girls, Shirley Ralph, mm-hmm. Loretta Divine, uh we actually created our parts and we mm-hmm. created a lot of the music. So, and I'm telling you, was not a finished song when I when I got there. Mm. Nor was my character Effie uh, in the second act. My character was only in the first act. Mm. And so, so I got to develop the character, develop the song. And as a young girl, at this point, I'm only 19 years old. When I first started working on Dream Girls, so mm. I turned every birthday at Dream Girls 19, 20, 21, <laughs> all the way to 25. Wow. And um, so I think back then, we knew that we were creating something special, but we had no idea that we would create something that would last almost, you know, yeah. four decades and, and, and gener- it'll be 40 years next year, the anniversary wow. of Jane Girl. So we had no idea, but we knew it was something special that we were all creating, but we had no idea that it would influence young young girls and 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 theater for all of these all of these uh decades now yes beautiful beautiful story wonderful time the legendary jennifer holiday thank you so much for joining us today miss lady i appreciate well, you well thank you so much for having <laughs> me i i appreciate I appreciate you and I appreciate your audience. Yes, thank you. And thank you to everyone that's tuned in today. Thank you so very much. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.